Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. A few weeks ago, I made a video on how to add a power button to your Raspberry Pi while running RetroPie or Raspbian. Go ahead and follow that video if you want a power button. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a power LED. So when your Pi's on, you'll have an LED running. Now this is my flirt case and I drilled a hole. I got some buttons on Amazon here and I'll leave a link in the description because I really like these. But you don't need a power button in order to have the LED on all the time. When your Pi goes off, if you shut it down through the menu, your LED button will go off or your LED light. So my Raspberry Pi is on right now. I'm going to press the button. Give it a few seconds to shut down. Now I have to wait about five seconds to turn it back on. And we're powering back on now. So I'm going to show you how to add an LED. I made up some diagrams. I'm going to leave those down below so you can download those. I have a diagram with a fan and one without a fan. So let's get started here. We're going to have to enable one thing within the Raspi config. So we're going to move over to the Pi now. It's running RetroPi 4.1. I'll show you how to set that up. Then we'll come back and I'll demonstrate some awesome wiring for you guys. Let's get started. So here we go guys, we need to go into the Raspi config and we need to enable serial. By default, RetroPie has it off when you first install it. We need to enable it in order for the pin to receive power that we're going to use for our LED. Go to RetroPie and you do not need the button installed. If you didn't follow that tutorial, that's totally fine. You can shut down by pressing start, quit, um, shut down system, and your LED will go off. Raspi config. Now from within this menu, I recommend using a keyboard, so go ahead and grab one and plug it in. We're gonna scroll down to advanced options, press enter. We're gonna scroll down till we see serial. So shell and kernel message on serial connection. Press enter. Make sure you highlighted yes. Press enter. Okay. We're going to go to finish. Now it's going to ask us to reboot. Yes, we need to reboot. So now that we have enabled serial, we will be receiving voltage through the pin we're going to run our LED off of. Now I'm using an LED that will support up to 12 volts, so I definitely recommend getting something like that. I'm going to leave Amazon links down below. This way you don't need a resistor. If you get a low powered LED, you could blow the LED without having a resistor. Links are in the description for Amazon LEDs that work with no resistor at all. Let's move over to my Raspberry Pi 2. This will work with the Raspberry Pi 3 also. I just already have it out of the case. So here's my Raspberry Pi 2. Like I said, this will work on a 3 also. I have mine already set up with the on off button script. Links in the description, go try it out. It works great and it does shut down your Pi properly. From here, I've rigged up an on off switch and an LED. Now I did this with bigger wires so you guys could really see it. On an LED, when you get one that looks like this, the longest lead is always going to be positive. Remember that LEDs, if you look here, this one's a little bent up. The longest lead on the LED is positive. All right, so let's connect the button. From your Pi, if you're looking at it like this, we're gonna count three down on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now for this button, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. I just used a black and a red wire because I had them. This receives no voltage at all. All we're doing is bridging the gap. So it doesn't matter positive or negative. I'm gonna connect this to pin five and six here. Okay zoom out a bit. So this is connected to five and six if you're counting down. One, two, five, and six. Now the LED 
is a little odd here. Right below number six, this is GPIO pin 14. And there are diagrams down below. I'm going to leave one on screen now so you can see it. Your LED positive needs to be connected to GPIO pin 14. But if we're counting down on the side, we're going to be one, two, three, four down. So I'm going to connect my positive from my LED to this one. And my negative is going to go on the very last pin right here on that side. I'm just going to connect this up. So now I have my LED. It's going to be powered from this pin. This is your ground. And I have my on and off switch. Let me go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so I'm going to put power to it. See my LED is lit up. We're going to give it a little while to boot. So the diagram I created for the wiring makes so much more sense than watching it on video. Download that diagram, put it on your desktop. So easy to follow. So we should be booted up now. When I press my button here, our Raspberry Pi is going to shut down and our LED will shut off. You can see we're still blinking because it's still shut down process. And we're done. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. And our LED is on. So it's really simple. Grab those diagrams. If you want a button, link is in the description. And that's it guys. You can use any kind of setup. Now mine is in a flirt case. Let me grab that one. And this is my all time favorite case. I haven't even looked for another case. I found a button that matches this aluminum perfectly. And I don't use a fan because this whole case is a heat sink itself. Let's turn it off one more time. LED should go out in a second. Still flashing green because it's shutting down in the background. Give it just a little bit of time before we turn it back on. I'll press my power button. And our LED came back on. So it's actually very simple. If you want a button, I did make a video. You can go check that out. If you just want an LED for when you shut it down, you can follow this diagram. Very simple to do. Like always, thanks for watching.